Ah, <laughs> we're live. Hello and welcome. I'm going to talk a little bit today about Mercury retrograde coming in here in the month of September here. We are already in the shadow phase. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what retrograde means. We actually have four, I believe, four other planets that are retrograde. However, Mercury is a ruling planet of anything electronic. Computers, obviously. Communications. Your car also has an electronic system in it. Your refrigerator has an electronic system in it. Um, it, com uh, it rules communications. Sometimes we will say things wrong during a Mercury retrograde, so you need to be careful you don't have to retract something that you may say. Um, because Mercury retrograde or any retrograde is uh, actually about redoing. When the planets go into a retrograde, it is just a change in their uh, orbital pattern, actually, that makes it look like they're going backwards, like they're like they're regressing or retrograding. Yet they don't. Um, it looks as though they are going backwards. They are at a spot where they slow up. It looks slow from our vantage here at the Earth. And then they take off again and speed back up. But this is going to be a mild Mercury retrograde. Um, it's going to be hard to blame something on Mercury this time around. We, Like I said, we are already in the shadow phase. That came in about a week ago. Some of you already feel that heavy change in the energy. Now, if you want to know how Mercury is going to affect you, pull up your birth chart. And there are tons of places here on YouTube that you can find them. Uh, don't pay anything. Just go to a free site. Um, Astro Cafe is one. Um, let's see, I can't think of any of the other ones off the top of my head. But just get a free birth chart and see where Mercury sits in your chart. Uh, the, the house that it's in is how it will usually affect you. Now, Mercury is my ruling chart uh, as a Virgo. So, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it a lot. And you know, I'm just right here in my birthday season of Virgo. So it's going to happen. Um, Mercury actually goes completely direct on September the 9th. 9-9. <clears throat> uh, it enters its retrograde status. And it will remain retrograde until October 1st. Again, a repeating number. 10 one. They're repeating one there. Um, so we've got about two and a half, three, actually closer to three weeks of Mercury being in retrograde. And then it's going to slip back into its shadow phase again and just take off and do what it's supposed to do the rest of the year. Uh, actually comes in retrograde three times, usually during the course of a, uh, a year. And like I said, this time it's going to be a little easier. Um, it's going retrograde into Libra. And Libra is about balance. It's about uh, also about justice. So um, if there is anything that is going on in your life legally, you may have to redo it. Um, you may have to re-sign contracts. You may have to um, reorganize things. But that's what retrogrades are all about. Um, I do have the paranormal flashlight on back there. And I'm going to pull a, just a few cards to see how that energy is going to look. Like I said, it's going to be an easier one. Uh, this retrograde actually goes into Libra through the, uh, the pattern of this retrograde. It's going to go into Libra, back out, and into Virgo. So it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I see what's going on here. <clears throat> All right, I am seeing earth signs and fire signs mostly in this, these cards that I pulled. So fire signs, you're going to have a little bit of a, uh, <clears throat> a thick, heavy energy. If uh, Also check your personal chart and find out if you 
are a cardinal sign, a mutable sign, or a fixed sign. And if you happen to be a fixed sign, that means you're stubborn and you will not change. And it can't, it, this retrograde may affect you uh, if you are a fire sign. You know, we have the nine of wands and this is wounded warrior energy. This is feeling like you have been beat up. Not the first time, not the second time, maybe about the ninth time. Funny how the nine came up when Mercury goes retrograde on 9-9. Nine, nine. You know, a lot of times readers do not point out these little synchronicities. They're all over the place. <clears throat> We've got also the seven of wands there. And that's about, um, you know, being ready. You know, we know it's coming. Brace yourself. No big deal, though, okay? It is not going to be very heavy. We're prepared for it. And you know what? We need to tuck and roll a little bit once in a while, don't we? Um, we've got the Two of Pentacles. Now, this is about... Um, for some of you, you're actually going to bring uh, a lot of things back into balance in your life. This is a perfect time to do it. Like I said, depending on where Mercury is in your own personal chart. That is also, that Two of Pentacles is also uh, an Earth sign. As is the Queen of Pentacles. This could be a time for some of you to really generate some good income. Thank you very much, Back Your Spirit on the Light. Um, a lot of you have been working towards different projects, um, different ambitions uh, to help with your own personal income and your career. And this is going to be a perfect time. <clears throat> We've got the King of Wands that he comes up here and he's letting us know that, um, you know what, just sit back and go with it. Um, don't allow anything to ruffle your feathers, let it roll off your back. King's pretty confident here. Again, he's another fire sign. And an earth, that earth sign. This king and queen are not compatible. Some of you are going to be experiencing breakups. We've got the three of swords. This is the only other sign that came out on the table. And this is an air sign. Uh, thank you back there, spirit. Some of you have already seen that there's a, a relationship or a connection that you need to eliminate. Let it go. Let it go. It has not been productive for you. It has been draining you, dragging you down. And there may actually be some betrayal behind it. Grabbing another deck here. Just a few cards, spirit. I always bless, cleanse, and neutralize the cards and the flashlight before I sit down to do a reading. Making sure the energy is neutralized at least before I get started. All right. Can I get one more, please? Thank you. Bam, 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 bam. You can't make some, can't make some of this stuff up. Look at this. Ten of Swords. This is an ideal time for some of you to be wrapping up some old stuff. It, it's perfect timing. Um, now, I mentioned the oddity about the Nine of Wands coming up. And that we're starting Mercury Retrograde in 9-9. Nine, nine. I mentioned that it is going to be retrograde until October 1st, the 10th month. And in numerology, we don't even use the zero. So October 1st is really represented here. Um, yeah, you're going to wrap up something. A 
connection that wasn't working for you. We have the judgment card. This is a real crossroads for some of you. This isn't going to be as heavy as you thought it was, though. It's going to be a little lighter. It's going to be easier. Even if this breakup, you know, because I preach to you to do it the right way. If you've ever broken up and the other person has been vicious and brutal, you'll understand why you must take the high road. You're creating karma for yourself that only you and your God can sort out at another time. When you're cruel to somebody and breaking their heart at the same time, yeah, yeah, um, you've got yours coming. Always take the high road. Um, and we have the Empress, and that's just what I talked about. Um, being in control. Being pulled together enough that you're not going to let this situation bother you. You're not going to let it flap you. You're not going to get it, let it, it's not going to piss you off because you already know it's coming. And we have the High Priestess. Absolutely, you know. This is your intuition speaking to you. Um, you're feeling energies a little lighter around you too right now. Now, as we roll into October and November, the energies are going to change again. It's going to get heavy. It's going to get um, very political. We're going to see a lot of things come to light again through... October and November. Thank you, Spirit on the Light, validating that. And <clears throat> one final thing I want to address. If you don't believe in psychic, shut the fuck up. Absolutely. We have become a society where we are more accepting of people that are different. Um, <clears throat> gays and lesbians, transsexuals, um, Muslims, Buddhists, Jews, Catholics, we accept everybody. We should be. But yet you, there are people who still don't know what a psychic or a medium is. You think we worship the devil? Yeah, I'm on a little bit of a, a tangent here. We talk to God more often than you do. We help locate missing pets, missing people. We bring through loved ones from the other side. They bring messages of hope and healing. If you don't know what a psychic or a medium is, shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, all right, going to leave it there. Thank you, Spirit. I see that uh, you kind of had a little bit of validation for me going on there. And you know what? I love you all. Even if you don't even know what a psychic is. I love you too. And I never wrap us up that I don't bless you all with love and light. See you soon.